the histamines are part of the immune system and part of the inflammatory process. And if you haven't seen the video already about inflammation, it might be worth looking at that first. Anyway, um, the inflammatory process is about healing. OK, when especially when we're talking about an acute response, which just means a short term response rather than chronic inflammation, which is a little bit different inflammation relating to a non injury site. So anyway, let's talk about histamines. When an antigen enters the body and it's normally attached to a bacteria, mast cells detect it and release histamine and, and other inflammatory agents. But we're talking about histamine right now. Histamine attaches to the endothelial cells and it shrinks them. Now, that creates a space. So if you imagine these cells are buffered up against each other, histamine just shrinks them a little bit, creates this space, which allows plasma to, to leak out into the interstitial space. And that's what causes swelling. That's the uh, physiology of edema. That's, uh, so it's a normal physiological response. The problem is... Initially, when there's some healing going on, because you've got this, this swelling, this extra fluid that histamine is encouraged as part of the healing process, you will get a little bit of pain, you'll get a little, little bit of swelling, maybe some heat, some redness, and actually the joint might be a little bit immobile. There's some other reasons for that, which I could tell you about from my rehab background, but it's a good thing sometimes to just make that joint immobile for a, a brief period of time. So the body is actually making these histamines. So if you look at the, the word histamine, amines, the end part of that, are signaling molecules. That's all that means. So it's an amino acid, and that's acted upon by an enzyme, and it becomes an amine. Okay, And histamine comes from an amino acid called histidine. Why is that important? Because once it's reached its receptor and done its job, so this amine has done it, histamine in this particular case, um, it's done its job. It then gets destroyed by another enzyme, and this is a really big deal. Okay, so this is called diamine oxidase or DAO, and this is this is like the cleanup agent of histamine. So, in a person that doesn't have a histamine problem, what's happening is histamine is released in a normal physiological way, and then you get the DAO coming up and cleaning up afterwards. So the swelling goes down. Now, for many people this is where there is a problem. There isn't enough enzyme to clean up the histamine. There is the other thing we could look at, which is incoming issues like eating too many things that have histamines. So this is where we're now going to go away a little bit from the science and more into um, practicalities. So let's get really basic. So when plants or animals stop being alive, the bacteria feed on their proteins, and a byproduct of that is histamines. So when something is bought, like a plant or some meat, there's a strong chance there's some histamines there. And these bacteria continue doing their job, even when the meat is in the fridge or the, the broccoli. We, we don't eat broccoli, but obviously we're going to talk about it in general here. When that's sitting in the fridge, it's releasing more and more histamine. And this is where you have problems with aged beef, for instance, because aged beef, let's say 28 day uh, hung beef. Well, that's been hanging there, increasing its histamine content. So for some people, that's fine. But for other people, you might have a little bit of an intolerance. And that's because the amount of histamines coming in is a little bit too much for the DAO, the cleanup enzyme that you've got. Cured meat is another one and even fermented food, because that's teeming with live bacteria. So you can even get some histamines from that. But the body is smart, it expects histamines. So it has this enzyme to neutralize it. So some people can actually get DAO as a supplement and see resolution of histamine issues. Um, just so you know, DA, uh, DAO is released and secreted by the intestinal lining. So a deficiency of this uh, possibly could be that you have GI tract damage. And this is why many people say, oh, I've got SIBO, I've got uh, gut dysbiosis, and I've also got histamine intolerance. It's because the cleanup operation is very much dependent on the intestinal tract. There are other things as well that we need to practically talk about. Antibiotics can cause this issue. Um, 
because we've got this bacteria and enzyme issue and we uh, antibiotics are not great for the intestinal lining. Chemotherapy uh, is one of those things as well. And there can be deficiencies because cofactors, things that are cofactor is just a flash way of saying a thing that is part of the process of making stuff. So vitamin B6, zinc, copper, and vitamin C can be low. That doesn't mean, oh, I've got a histamine problem. I'm going to go out and buy all those supplements because you can be a bit more forensic and get some blood tests to see if you've got any levels that are particularly low. So overwhelming the DAO defense system can happen by eating too much histamine containing food. It can happen by um, picking the wrong food, so more aged food, aged cheeses, those sort of things. So what can you do to help that? Well, you can look at things like fresh meat, eat less cheese or don't have aged cheese if you're leaving meat in the fridge rather than freezing it that can be a problem so if you're if you're buying meat you think well i'm not going to have that till next week don't take your chances putting it in the fridge make sure you put it in the freezer so we can take control of histamine intake we can definitely look at those sort of things obviously exposing food to bacteria accidentally for instance having going on a picnic so you're leaving the food out uh, hopefully that's helped you uh, understand histamines a little bit more than the practicalities and how carnivore even carnivore which is a, is a great way of eating can be a problem if you're picking the wrong foods for you that doesn't mean you'll always have this problem by the way many people start with a histamine intolerance and actually as they repair from eating you know a nutrient dense um, way of eating uh, which is species appropriate you tend to find that the gi tract repairs and then you get more dao and it's just a sort of virtuous circle really